Are the beans at home? We are. <laughs> we are in Garwin. We're on a farm in Garwin, Iowa. All right. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Morning, everybody at the meeting house. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Yeah, you can. Go to your email. This is what you'll see. Chip will hard what you'll see. Go. Our volume's acting wonky today. Yeah. Say something, John. Something like, it's, you know, my no, cousin no. said, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hello. supposed to be today. Yeah. It's hot in Iowa, too. Mm. Hello. Yeah, my cousin in Ankeny said it, it was extremely hot. So, where, Sam? Ankeny. Oh, yeah. I think got to what, 97 yesterday, something like that. We were about 94, I think. <clears throat> Rain badly, and it looks like it's going all the way around this and dissipated. <laughs> That's here for months. Where uh, they said the other day we're five inches short. Uh, rain here. Ooh. So this last couple of weeks. Last week, I guess. Like the yard screening app, because we have had a little bit. Yeah, we have had some. No, they're from land. For some reason, I can't it's get the volume to go up and down. Huh. Well, it's plenty loud. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's see what I can do here. Can I minimize this? Oh. We'll leave a minute and come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you all hear us? Yes. yes. Is that a yes or a no? It's yes. Yes. <laughs> He's not looking behind him, so. <laughs> now we're not hearing you. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes. yes. No, we're not hearing you. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on, Right. Now, did they go to take care of the bank? I don't think so. No. Oh, 
Well, some, some people it's actually coming in better now than it has been in the past. The owl is not cooperating. Can you hear us? Yes, yes we can. Okay, now we hear you again. Yeah, actually, the sound, like Sue said, is better than it's been in weeks. Okay. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Morning, Steve. That's better. I don't think he's hearing it yet, though. So, what? You hear us, Steve? Oh. He's hearing, <laughs> he's just ignoring us. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hear us, he doesn't want to. Oh. Collective hearing. <laughs> 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 I hear you, but maybe if I quiet, you go away. How's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll bring I it said, in. <laughs> I'm sorry, did he what? I said Brent did go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. It's working. <laughs> I'm back. It's likely Tristan would like to do that anyway. Yeah. Dan's There's back. Dan. Oh. Dan went outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Morning, Dan Bean. <laughs> Morning, Steve. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. <clears throat> How are you getting along, Steve? Uh, doing well. You're um, looking well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Don't have a lot of strength or energy, but uh, able to get up and eat and <laughs> make it around during the day. Oh, that's good. Hmm. I wonder if anyone has anything to say about the uh, yearly meeting, how that went, and any highlights? It went really well. Um, the sort of joke was that the theme should have been flexibility rather than the Bible verse from the Ephesians, just because a number of things didn't go quite as planned, although they went well, just not quite as planned. But um, I, I thought it was really good. I, I was, um, I really liked what Sean had to say Thursday night. I thought the speakers were really good. Paul Anderson's Bible lectures and Sharice Box and um, Baker lecture were all really good. Um, so I was very pleased with how it went. Heard good things about Dale Doral's presentation. Yeah, Dale did a really, really nice yeah. job. He said that he thought it was the best he'd ever done. And, and I would say at the times I've heard him, that probably was true. Yeah, I thought it went well. Rania was fun to have here at the house tonight. So we got to know her a little better. Realized we, Dan, we had actually gone to her house when we were there. And I didn't remember it until we saw pictures of it. Did, did we eat a meal at her house? Yes. Oh yes. my goodness. I, know. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. I didn't either. 
Another funny connection with Rania is that um, she and I had connected um, on um, Zoom for a couple of FUM things, but she told me when she saw me, she said, I remember you when you were teaching in Ramallah. But you didn't actually teach me. She was in a class behind the class that was my homework that I taught the most. But she remembers me from when I taught there 40 years ago, uh, which was kind of a surprise. Yeah, how could that be 40 years ago? You're not that old. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Brent. That was a very nice compliment. Well, since I'm a year older, that's yeah, so exactly. We're um, both just fifty, right? I had a good conversation <clears throat> as well. We stood out in the lobby in Buffalo. It was fun. Uh, fortunately, many of the sessions from the year of the meeting were available on Zoom, and there were quite a few of us that chose to Zoom in on the meetings, and uh, that was very helpful to those of us that. Uh, are trying to avoid large crowds. Mm -hmm. So I think that that went well. Uh, Dan and Sylvia, we had some of your Iowa neighbors visit us this week. Uh, Arlen and Jean Dulesky. Oh, okay. New Providence yeah. stopped in on their way to uh, North Carolina. And, uh, to your house? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Had a good had a good visit with them. So, New Providence, I think, is where they're yes. near. Is that correct? That's correct. I, I think New they're. Providence. I think they're in New Providence, maybe or close yeah. by. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Where John Rains goes to meeting. Okay. Arlen was the uh, brought the message at Marshalltown Friends maybe two months ago. <clears throat> he always does a wonderful job. Mm-hmm. He's a, quite a good speaker. How are things in Kentucky, Jonathan? Things are, are well here in the area I'm at. We're having some sunny weather uh, finally after considerable rain that we've had. Hope all is well there and everywhere. <laughs> You've had considerable rain? Yeah, yeah. And the severe yeah, flooding yeah. in the eastern part of the state. Yeah. Been reading about that. Have you, have you had issues with that? Luckily, no. I'm just uh, far enough west to be to be out of it, but I uh, have a lot of co-workers and um, so forth that have been impacted by it. And uh, it's farther east and around ha the hazard area. Like from the Dukes of Hazard? <laughs> Similar, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I um, remember yeah. that show. <laughs> yeah, it's in a place called Perry County. The town of Hazard is the the county mm -hmm. seat there, uh, so it's uh, been a kind of a focal point, I think, of um, of the flooding, and uh, also a place called Whitesburg. Uh, some areas over there. Well, Dave's joining us today. I sent him a note and he wrote back. I, we missed him last week and he said he was on the road. He's traveling. That's right. Should be. Did he say where he is today? Well, today, hey, I'm at, at, I'm at uh, Larry and Sue's he's today. He's in Indianapolis. <clears throat> oh. Yes. Larry's birthday was yesterday. How'd that go? He got another year older. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to your reunions? We did. We went uh, went out to Waverly and got acquainted with people. And, and uh, Larry, speaking of, there he is. Hi, Larry. Met some. Hi. I'm Met much wiser today. <laughs> you reached that threshold or something? Being wiser? <laughs> wise enough wise enough to walk away from this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I was older, I must be wiser too. Huh. Dave, have you been to Cape Cod? No, we didn't make that that uh, 
this trip has been the worst of all trips put together so far. Got to, as far as the Georgia, uh, North Florida line filled up with fuel, which was bad fuel, water and algae and whatever, got up another 150 miles before we hesitated and spent the next four days trying to get the, the place to a mechanic or the truck to a mechanic and get the tank dropped and cleaned out new fuel filters and then got up to Rogers finally the next day got in his driveway and check engine light came on and that uh, part of the exhaust system was has, had failed or was failing so then we had to find a garage and a, and a correct part from uh, Mercedes to get it fixed so that took another day. From there, then we got on up to, to uh, Larry and Sue's. So here we are, but we didn't make Cape Cod, didn't make any of that. We made, made it up to here and going back tomorrow. <laughs> well, I hope the trip back is a little less eventful for you. Yes, thank you. A lot less eventful. Well, it, uh, it's time to begin, so uh, I don't think there's any announcements except Sunday school. We're going to study Jezebel. Chip, I'm sure, has seen the movie with Betty White, but that's not the same Jezebel. Davis. So. <laughs> Betty Davis, not Betty White. Uh, <laughs> that'd be a whole nother take. <laughs> Betty Davis. Oh, never mind. Uh, for uh, prayer concerns, and uh, Joy's, we got a text, I got a text, uh, and so did Norma last night, that Stan Bailey has pneumonia. So uh, they said they expected it to take like 10 days to clear up. So they're not around today. Uh, Is he in the hospital? He, he, I don't think so. I think he's at home. So, but... So, like they needed one more thing. <laughs> Are there other joys or concerns this morning? Susan Felix, <clears throat> some of you know, she uh, broke her thigh bone several years ago. And they put a rod in and they have removed the rod and she's at home again in anticipation of eventually having hip replacement. Oh. But they had to get that out first, but she's doing well. Okay. Well, joy that we have is Tuesday morning, we're headed to North Carolina, our favorite place, Bald Head Island, not named after me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the lighthouse there is Old Baldy, so the kids always buy me ball caps with Old Baldy on it and give it to give them to me. <laughs> but uh, Laura and Michael are going with us, and I think this will be our 20th trip down there, uh, the 20 years in a row. And so I'll be the guest minister at the village chapel next week and have them do a little Quaker silence like I always do, which they always talk about how nice it is to have silence. So, and it's always ama amazing. It's, uh, it's a community year round of about 500 and in the summer it's about 2000. The people come up and they always want to tell me how many of their relatives were Quakers. Uh, you know, all these visitors who come to the island through North Carolina, mostly, you know, they'll come up and talk about, you know, their Quaker connections. So that's always kind of fun. They'll just be very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Well, if uh, there aren't any more things to share right now. I invite you to put yourselves on mute. And Lynn is a worship leader and she will lead out the silence as she feels led. And uh, let's take these, all the joys and concerns of our hearts to God in, in prayer and uh, 
center ourselves to uh, for worship. As Christians, probably one of the most common phrases that, that we share is, I'll be praying for you. Sometimes maybe we say it too often or maybe even a little too glibly. When someone shares about a challenging time they're experiencing, we often say, I'll be praying for you. But do we do it? In the past, sometimes I have and sometimes I haven't. Maybe I will right as I'm talking with the person, but then I forget to continue, forget to do it as life goes on. Often when I'm in this situation, I find myself thinking that I wish I could do something more than just pray for the person. I think maybe that's my heart talking, but pretty soon my head chimes in and asks, well, what is more important than holding the hurting person in the light and love of the creator of the universe? Praying for someone is not a too small activity. I have to admit also that I sometimes wonder if saying I'll pray for someone is the easy way of sounding like I'm doing something for the hurting person, but without any real expenditure of time and energy on my part. I say a quick prayer and go my merry way without giving the person or the circumstances much further thought. Since Steve's diagnosis in May, We've had many people send cards and emails telling us that they're praying for us. Through this experience, I've learned something invaluable. Those prayers really do make a difference. I can feel the support of those people holding us up as we meet each event on this challenging path we're on. I can feel God's love through the love expressed by the people in my life. Never again will I doubt the importance of telling people that I'm praying for them, nor will I say it and then forget to do it. I know from experience now how much of a difference prayers make in the lives of those who walk challenging paths. Thank you so much for holding Steve and me in God's light and love as we walk this rocky path and for holding little Maggie as well. The hymns that I'm going to play today all focus on prayer.
Well, thank you, Lynn. We'll now continue into more on program worship. We know some folks need to leave, so we bid you adieu and Godspeed and uh, hope to see you next week.
if uh, all hearts are clear, we'll end worship this morning. Well, we'll end meeting for worship. Let's, we won't end worship. So, any closing thoughts folks would like to share before we sign off? For the music, Lynn. You're welcome. It's good to see everyone. So I hope you have a, a blessed week. And uh, hope most of you will be online next Sunday. Good. Bye. Bye. Bye.